It's called finger pay. It works by using a small infrared scanner to detect unique patterns in the veins in a person's fingertips. The information is then linked to a customer's bank details. It's being used for the first time in this supermarket at Brunel University in West London, where large numbers of students are eagerly registering their details. If there's an easier method of, of, of paying and, and it can reduce queue times and can speed things up and I'm not having to wait at ATM machines or I'm not having to rely on having to carry my wallet and my bag and my cash, th then that's a win-win from both a student perspective but also from, from a university perspective. Fingerprint recognition technology is already widely used on things like mobile phones, but studies show that it's vulnerable to hacking. A simple smear left on advice like this can be easily copied. But Starla, the British firm behind this reader, devised in partnership with the Japanese tech giant Hitachi, claims vein technology cannot be compromised. You can't copy it like you can with a fingerprint. It is much, much more secure. And in fact, the numbers we're told are one in three billionth of a chance uh, that there's a, a, anybody is going to be able to have the same finger vein. So it's pretty secure. It also requires the finger and the person attached to be alive. Vein scanners are already used to access some high security buildings. There are now plans to use the technology in many more shops, as well as places that require membership, like gyms or nightclubs, and even football grounds. Another step, or finger to be precise, towards consigning cards and cash to history. Eve Barker, Al Jazeera, London.